Hey everyone, it's me Monica and welcome to my channel and for today's video, I will show you how I edit my videos that I upload on YouTube using an app called Viva Video. Very easy app. It's a simple and convenient app because I only use my cell phone to edit my videos that I upload on YouTube. Basic editing guys, so don't expect too much. But I hope that new users of Viva Video will learn something from this. At the end of this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified on all of my future uploads. Let's start! So first, we need to download the app using your App Store or Play Store. Just key in Viva Video. I already purchased this app so that I can use its VIP features. Don't worry guys, they have a free trial that lasts for 3 days. And we will click open to open the app. This is what it looks like. This is Viva Video's homepage and to start editing, let's click this orange box. Edit. Now, it will direct you to your phone's gallery. So you will see all of your videos and all of your photos are there. To start editing, we need to select the video clips that we will be needing. On this video, you can either select one, two, or more videos. But for this video, we will just be needing two videos to show you the transition or what we call the transformation video. Click next. So there. Viva Video has five main menus. Number one is the theme. I uh, rarely use this one, so we'll skip this part. Next is music. We can add uh, sound effects or background music. Clip edit. Here we will trim the video, sequence the videos. Next one is the text and graphics. We can add stickers, text, subtitles. And the last one is filter, which I rarely use also, so we'll skip this one. Let's go back to clip edit. Whenever I edit videos, there are three steps that I always follow. The first one is to trim the videos, remove the unnecessary clips, and then sequence them so that they will be in order. The second part is to add the text and the graphics if you want to add some. And the third part is to add the music and sound effects. On the clip edit menu, there are a lot of sub-menus, but we will just focus on this first five. First sub-menu is Canvas. You can select the dimensions of your video for YouTube uploads or TikTok uploads. There's also a TikTok upload there. But for this video, we will choose none. You can also zoom your video. Zoom it in or uh, zoom it out there. And if you're finished, just click the check orange check mark there. Next sub-menus are the trim and the split. Here we can cut our videos, trim it, shorten it, delete the necessary parts, but I'll show you first the trim function. The trim function, we can tri uh, trim the videos from the left or trim the videos from the right. Let's try trimming it from the left, a little bit further, a little bit from the right, and when we're finished, just click the check mark okay the other one is the split i use the split function whenever i want to cut or trim videos on a precise time we will just move this active clip on the cursor and wait to the point where the brush will fall okay there and we will click split and we need to delete this video because it's no longer needed. Delete. And since this is a transformation video, we will try to make the transition seamless as possible. We will use the split function again to the point where we want to cut the video. Okay, then click split. And then delete the unnecessary clip. Let's play it from the beginning. There's the transition. The fifth sub-menu of clip edit is speed. I want to add some slow motion on this part, but first we need to uh, yeah, specify that part. 
where we will put the slow motion using the split function and there. Move this cursor to the left or to the right, to the left to make it slower and to the right to make it faster. And click the check mark if you're done. Let's see how it looks like. Slow motion. <laughs> and the normal speed okay let me trim that part this part the last part and then delete the unnecessary clip okay let's try to watch it from the beginning Transition. slow motion and the normal speed okay there you have it guys we will start on the second part of editing which is adding text and effects you can now add text or subtitles stickers gifs on your video but for this video we will just add text on it key in makeup brush challenge if you're not familiar with tiktok there's a trend now that's called makeup brush challenge so that's what we're doing on this video we can uh, select the style of our text let's find something simple how about this one the subtitle you can also uh, make it smaller or bigger just pinch the cursor to change its um, size there you can also select the font style viva video has a lot of font styles to choose from we we'll just find something suitable for this uh, video okay this one it looks like a paintbrush you can select the font color mm -hmm. let's see and a border if you want to add some border so the text will be more visible uh, I want to change the font color yeah it's more simple you can also add shadows and click the check mark if you're finished You can reposition your uh, text from the beginning up to the end of your video. But for this video, I want it to be on the uh, first clip only. Let's adjust this one. There. We are done on our second step. Now we will proceed on the third step which is to add the background music and sound effects. We will not be needing sound effects on this video but I will still show you guys the featured sound effects of Viva Video. So here are their uh, sound effects and the uh, ones that I have previously used from my previous videos. Click add music to add background music to your videos. Viva Video has a lot of music to choose from. They have a lot of genres, electronic, hip-hop, pop. You can select any from this music. I also want to download other music from YouTube. These are royalty-free music or vlog no copyright music. I will try to use this one. Day Fox Lioness Vlog. Also, drag this cursor to um, wait. Yeah, I want the music to start from there. Then click use once you're done. You can decrease or increase the volume of your background music, and you can change if it will be on a fade in effect or on a fade out effect. But for this video, I don't want this effects i'll just remove it the fade out and the fade in okay let's go back let's try to play it and that 
that's it. I think we're done. Once you're done, you click save on the upper right part. You can either uh, save it Ultra HD 4K or Full HD 1080p. But for this video, it's okay for Full HD 1080p. Click it and then wait for the video to be processed. And once it's finished, it will go directly to your saved album or the gallery of your phone. There you have it, guys. I hope that you like this video and I hope it will help especially the new users of Viva Video. If you have other questions, just leave it on the comment box down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!